Behind the music, God help us. When I first heard Swedish meatballs, I realized that music was about to change. I said to myself, this is the greatest group of the century. No one had ever made music like this before. It was revolutionary. So, God Help Us was a project uh, between me and my friend Bill that we started in 2016. After I posted an ad on Craigslist to ask uh, for some people to start a band with me, he's the only one uh, who answered. At the time, I was going to school for film and he wanted to go into meditation. So because our majors were different, we wanted to do um, something a little experimental with our tastes. John had come to the realization that he had musical talent. So, unlike me, Bill played music. He had a band called The Convulsions at the time. So once we teamed up, we decided our first goal was to make an EP. When I met John, I thought he was a dumb, stupid idiot filmmaker. But then I heard God help us, and I was just like, God Help yeah. Us showed their closest uh, friends the EP in uh, mid-2016. Yeah. They tried to meet up with record labels like Atlantic and Interscope, but were kicked out after their music was called embarrassing and tried to attack the executives there. Dr. Dre didn't want us on his label. Not even Weird Al Yankovic wanted us. That was sad. I listened to the EP that John and Bill recorded, and the whole time I thought to myself, oh my god, this is genius. How could anyone not want to hear this? I think a lot of people didn't want to accept how different and diverse they were as a group. You can't rap over video game music, but they can because they are God help us. So, this is how you play Swedish Meatballs. By the end of the year, Which Way They Walk director Adam Noyes decided to make a music video of the main single. Swedish Meatballs. And I heard John's spiel, right? His music, and I said, Money. They don't want anything intelligent with what they watch. They just want to be entertained. Just entertained. It screamed money to me. Because it wasn't intelligent, it was so dumb. People just want to see people dressed up, men dressed up like transvestites, throwing raw meat at each other and pouring gravy all over somebody's naked body while throwing spaghetti in the background. That video made me throw up. But I continued to smile, laugh, and throw up some more. Throwing spaghetti and meatballs at each other is disgusting. Oh, jeez. After a few months, the group attempted to make a full LP titled Attack of the Sack from the Jacks of Iraq, but tension and busy schedules got in the way. You know, heard that while they were recording, right? It's pure gold. Whatever Drake was making, this was legit. Like my dropped because of how amazing this was. So, we were supposed to write an album called Attack of the Sacks from the Jacks of Iraq. It was a concept album about a man named Jack who has a wet dream which leads him into an alternate reality um, that goes across sex and time. But something happened. Bill decided to become a monk. I didn't even know monks were still around. So, we got into a fight about it. Then, we fought. We wrestled, I beat the shit out of him, and it went nowhere. I felt some sexual tension from that wrestling match. I thought they liked each other a little more than they thought, but whatever, it's God help us. So after 60 days, I thought to myself, hey, God help us, it's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. By the end of 2017, the group had pretty much died Bill was graduating college and ready for his monk formation, leaving God help us, helpless. It felt like a big joke that just died. It felt like a meme. When John told me that God help us was dead, 
I said, no, it can't be. So that's when I said to him, let's make art together. I was generally shocked that Antonio showed interest in this project um, because I thought it died. Um, I wanted it to die. But when Antonio came, it just felt new. I like that. The group is continuing on with John Selecchia and Antonio Bottiglieri. The now duo are being predicted as the next Hall & Oates or Outcast. They are currently working on a new LP titled, what again? Pistachio Man and the Enormous Margina. That's right. The concept of this album is through the roof! So what message would you leave for this episode? Life is a meme. Well, whatever happens, God help us. <laughs>